My mate, the PCSO in Withenshaw, was telling me that we got invited to local primary school to speak to five-year-olds about safety in the home, because obviously they're dead busy. <laughs> he said, right, children, when you're at home and your mum's in the kitchen cooking your tea and the old look teacher, they're puzzled. <laughs> Cooking me tea, what's he on about? <laughs> Sorry kids, when you're at home and your mum's warming your Greg sausage roll up in the oven. <laughs> Why should you never put your hand on the oven door? And one little five-year-old scrote put his hand up and he said, Is it in case you leave any fingerprints? No! <laughs> no, it isn't, you skanky fucker. And don't get me wrong! I'm not punching down here at all. I'm working class and proud, I'm sure a lot of you are. I don't think it's just rough inner city schools have problems. I think posh schools have problems as well. Do you remember a few years back, a posh school went on a trip to Norway and a kid got attacked and killed by a polar bear? Do you remember that? And I remember reading that in the paper and I thought, oh, that's awful. Until I found out it was called Horatio and I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> You're laughing a little too hard. Uh, Eaton, he fucking was. <laughs> All right. I thought, I thought that story had been so much more. If that had been a school trip from Withenshaw, it would be totally different, wouldn't it? Like for a start, it wouldn't have been called a ratio, would it? It'd have been called Macko. I can just imagine Macko. I'm going to split from his mates outside the tent and the Norwegian survival guy would come over and say, listen, fellas, you need to get inside your tent. There's fucking polar bears everywhere. And he'd just turn around and say, all right, Sven, calm down. We're not going to touch your polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead. 